This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. This day in June was set aside in dedication of the unity of the nations that are fighting the tyranny of would-be world conquerors. Similar ceremonies were taking place across the Atlantic in the United States. And in Britain, every village, every town and city had its own particular ceremony according to size. In the picturesque streets of this country town, the procession marching past showed how solid is the effort for victory. So come from country to the capital, to London with its fanfare at Buckingham Palace, before the King and Queen and Princesses, King Hawken of Norway, the King of Yugoslavia, and the Presidents of Poland and Czechoslovakia. Before the flags of our allies, they marched past in rhythm to stirring music, the fighting men and the workers of the British Empire and United Nations. Then swing into view with their inimitable step, the Royal Navy. stride and music of the pipes. change from the unrelenting grey of a world of blood and toil and tears. And it's a symbol of the fighting spirit that still infuses us towards the end of a third year of ruthless war. Right. 